So one of the main questions I get asked is where does water go that holds the blood and the bodily fluid and the chemicals after the embalming? Down the drain is the answer. Many of you are freaked out by that because you're like, well, that's contaminating us. The formaldehyde is going in our water. You at home are putting formaldehyde and far more toxic chemicals down your drain in your home when you clean and do things than is actually going down the drain here. The blood holds the same things in it as it does from your body if you cut your finger and wash your hand at home, if you go to the bathroom at home, if you vomit at home, that's all going to the same place. Now the chemicals also, when I went to the water treatment facility in my video on the water treatment, just to see, you know, following where does the stuff go, they can test in the parts per trillion and there was no embalming chemicals found at that level. However, the hormone treatments that you take, the chemicals you use in your house, those things are all found in parts per trillion in the water. So what you're putting down the drain at home is far more toxic than what goes down the drain here at the funeral home. And I understand that blood from a dead person and bodily fluid from a dead person can be quite frightening. Um, it does freak a lot of people out. So there are some countries that do contain what comes out of the dead person um, to be disposed of in biohazard. However, here that is not done. It all goes to one local source along with all the blood and boogers and everything that you put down your drain at home. <laughs>